What is up everyone, before we get started with the video, we do want to inform that anyone new to the hobby or interested in getting into the hobby, we do have a free guide available to help you get started. If you go into our Sunday Leak Investors Instagram, we have a Linktree link available. Open that up and it'll be the first link available called Modern Soccer Car License Guide. So this guide basically will help you get started either with soccer cards or soccer stickers. It runs through pretty much the modern cards available in the market today. So we hope that helps and enjoy the video. What is up you guys and welcome to Sunday League Investors. My name is Luigi, no Bob or Brian today guys, it's just me. And I wanna make this quick video regarding a very interesting topic in the hobby right now. And it's regarding World Cup cards. And we're talking about World Cup cards before the 2014 Prism. So this could be the 2010, 2006, and the 2002, and there's also 1998. So I don't know if you guys seen it yet, but Brian uploaded a post on Instagram regarding the World Cup cards before the 2014 Prisms, and he goes over the hobby boxes for the 2010, 2006, and then 2002. So if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you go check that out. Very interesting topic. So getting into that, a very interesting fact that I want to mention regarding the 2006 World Cup cards um well first thing to say there's stickers for the world cups and those are always going to be popular i mean people always look out for those especially the players first world cup stickers the only thing about stickers is they're very hard to grade so but they're still going to be popular no matter what and then we have the cards themselves so the 2006 and the 2006 set a cool thing to know is that cristiano ronaldo and Lionel messi have their cards the first world cup cards in that set and i don't know if you guys seen but the last pwcc auction they had a cristiano ronaldo psa 10 for from the 2006 world cup go for five thousand dollars so good news great news for the hobby um so i got a cool story about the 2002 set um we're not talking about 2006 now we're going back to the 2002 if you guys see the checklist for the 2002, of course you won't have Ronaldo or Messi, but you got cool players, I mean, not cool players, good players, like um, Ronaldo, R9 from Brazil, you got Sidon, you got Henry. Um, I think those are the three players that really um, got my attention from that, from that World Cup. But I was able to get, two weeks ago, or last week, I was able to get a complete set, so 140 cards, for $75, I think $70 or $75. And these cards are in great shape. So I ended up paying less than a dollar for each car. I got the cards in and the Ronaldo, I was hoping the Ronaldo R9 was in good shape. And good news, it's in really good shape, guys. So what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you guys seen Bob's and Brian's video about their Cristiano Ronaldo 2003 um, in black uniform raw car that they're sending over to PSA. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing on my side. I'm gonna be sending the true Ronaldo R9. I don't know if you guys can see it, yep. His 2002 World Cup card. I'm gonna be sending that over to PSA. Hopefully we get good news from it. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I'm hoping it gets worse, I mean, worst case scenario an eight, best case scenario a nine. We'll see, I'm no expert, but I kinda look through the car. I read some articles on it, so let's hope for the best. Um, but yeah, guys, the 2002 World Cup cards, they're cheap right now. If you guys can pick them up, I mean, I saw a Sidon going for around 3 to $5. So after the two, th I mean, you guys, we are seeing the 2006 cards go up. So I believe that after that, the 2002 are going to start picking up. Um, so yeah. Just keep an eye out on it. Um, if you guys can pick them up, go ahead and do so. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time.